Hello everyone. Today we'll do a lab on simple router configuration. We'll run few basic commands to configure our router and we'll see how we configure our routers, how we connect in our network. So let's get started. I need to take few routers. Mm, let's take 1941. Take one more router. A switch. And few end devices. That should be fine. Now here we have empty slots, if you see on the router, we have only 2 Giga ports, Giga Ethernet port 00, Giga Ethernet port 01, so we need serial port to make our connection, just turn off the router, look for this port HWIC2T, just click and drag it here. click and drag it here make sure your router is off all right it should be fine do the same thing on the other router turn it on all right let's get started with the connections now between two routers I can use a crossover cable but today I'll be using a serial cable that for that only I allotted serial ports click on that you see serial 000 click on this and serial 000 Now we have PC and router. There are different devices but there is one exception whenever you connect a router to a PC directly. You don't need to use straight through cable. In fact you need to use crossover cable. So I'll take a crossover cable. Put it on fast ethernet port. Here I don't have a fast ethernet port but I have a giga ethernet port which is a faster port so it will work. Just put it on it. Always remember between router and PC we always use crossover cable. Now between router and switch it will be a straight through cable. Click on any of the ethernet ports. I am taking 00. Use any of the ports. You can use giga, also, giga ethernet ports also or fast ethernet port also. So to make similar ports I will put on giga ethernet port. Connect your switch with your PC and laptop. Alright, so this is our today's network topology. We have two routers which we need to configure. We will run few basic configuration commands and we will be able to configure these two routers. And in the end we should be able to communicate between these end devices. For that we need to have some IP addresses. Let's take some IP addresses. Alright, so here I take 9.9.9.1. .9 .9 .1.
right here. So this is laptop's IP address and this will be PC's IP address. So PC and laptop are lying in network 172.16.1.0.0 and okay 192.168 this will be IP address of this PC and it is lying in a network 192.168.1.0 let's configure our PC desktop IP configuration it should remain static Subnet mask will be 255.255.0.0. Go to your laptop. All right. Now let's start with the configuration of router. We'll go to router 0 and start configuration. If you see the tab, we have physical config CLI attributes. You need to go on CLI, which is command line interface. It will ask you initial configuration dialog. Answer no. Keep entering, and you are ready for configuration. I'll drag my configuration window a little bit here so that I can see the ports. If you see, this port is serial 00. zero and this port on the router is gigabit 00 all right so let's start our configuration whenever you have arrow like this you have to write enable and it will give you router hash so after this you have to write configuration terminal which will take you to global configuration mode right config t config t is shortcut for configuration terminal so if i write configuration terminal it's not taking config t okay so we are inside config t inside global configuration mode now we have to give IP addresses now IP addresses we always give on the ports so we have gigabit 00 and serial 000 okay so we have two ports and we have to give these IP addresses before that I'll change a name of my router so how to change my uh, uh, name of the router host name whatever name you want to give I'm giving RO1 so if you see here before configuration bracket the name changes from router to RO1. Earlier it was router, now we have RO1. So this is how you change your name of the router. Host name, space, whatever name you want to give. Now let's go to our interfaces. Interface Giga 0 slash 0. 
IP address IP address is 192.168.1.1 192.168.1.1 space now subnet mask so subnet mask slash 24 so subnet mask if you convert slash 24 it will come as 255.255.255.0 once you give IP address you need to do no shutdown to make your port up so you write a command no shut down you'll see the message line protocol on the interface gigabit 00 change to state up press enter now this port is configured now we need to configure this port which is interface serial 000 so interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 enter IP address 9.9.9.1 space subnet mask convert slash 8 and it will be 255.0.0.0 no shut or no shutdown shortcut for no shutdown is no shut we can use no shut also now if you see here you have a clock sign here on this port so that means we need to give clock rate we'll take a default clock rate sorry and done exit exit we'll come back on this router again first we'll configure router I'll make this router two. Same configuration commands. No change, only the change in IP addresses. Now dot one have I have already used, so I'll use dot two. Now when you are on serial port you always give clock rate on only one end which is DCE end. This is our DCE end, this is our DTE end. So we don't need to give clock rate on DTE end. So now we have configured all our interfaces. All interfaces are configured. All interfaces are configured on both the routers. So let's see what we have done. Host name. Interf faces IP address. So we have already finished our host name. We have changed the host name. We have make our interfaces up. We can see they are all green. We have given the IP addresses. So that means it should communicate. Should we see it? This is our PC click here and I want to ping between this laptop see here it is showing me failed now why it is showing us failed because we have three different types of networks one network is 192.168.1.0 one network is 9.9.0 other network is 172.16.0.0 so these Three different types of network will not communicate between each other until unless we tell our routers about these different types of networks. To tell our routers, we need to advertise these networks on the routers. We advertise these networks using 
a routing protocol today we will be using a basic routing protocol which is rip routing information protocol so I'll, now i'll show you how to configure rip so on the both the routers you need to configure routing protocols every router has one routing table on its in its memory so to check the routing table the command is show ip root so i can see directly connected and locally connected interfaces that is 9.0 and 192.168.0 now 9.9.9.0 is this network which is connected on this router and 192.168.1.0 is this network which is connected through this router now i don't have any information about 172.16.1.0 no ip address i can find it here on the routing table to get that ip address we need to run routing information protocols so how to do it again you have to do on a global configuration mode config t tell router i want to run which routing protocol i want to run rip router rip we have two versions in router rip we will be using version 2 now we need to advertise the networks so write network give space and see on your router one which two networks are being uh, are to be advertised one network is 192.168.1.0 so 192.168 uh, 192.168.1.0 and the network is 9.9.9.0 or you can just simply write 9.0.0.0 and that's it this is how you configure your router rip and advertise your networks do the same thing on your second router router rip version 2 network 9.0.0.0 network 172.16.0.0 and exit let's see our routing table again Now we, we can see a network 172.16.0.0 and it is showing you here R. Now if you see terminology of R here, R is RIP. So we are getting a network because of routing information protocol. Similarly, we should be able to see 192.168.1.0 on second router. Show IP root. If you see R 192.168.1.0, that means now our configuration is complete. Let's see if we are able to ping. Click here, put on this PC, put on this PC, failed. Now, one more thing is remaining inside our end devices. If you go inside your PC, IP configuration. We have given IP address, we have given subnet mask, but we didn't give default gateway. Now default gateway for this PC will be 192.168.1.1 because it is connected on this router, on this port. So we need to give default gateway 192.168.1.1. Do the same thing on your laptop and PC which is connected on the second router. So default gateway is 172.16.1.1 which is this IP address.
do the same thing on your PC. One zero two sixteen one dot one. Let's see again. you see now it is successful so now we have done routing information protocol or we can say routing protocol and default gateway So these are the all configurations we have done to complete this network topology. We can communicate between any other devices. Click here and here. Should work. We can communicate from here to other net site and it should work. You can see successful. Now there is another way to communicate using command prompt ping IP address of this PC. 192.168.1.2 enter and you are getting a reply that means your connection is perfect your configuration is good and we are able to communicate properly so i hope you understand the concept and how we configured routers what the what are the configuration commands we need to run first we need to configure ports we need to give IP addresses and subnet mask on the port make sure you shut on the port by doing no shutdown command and then we need to run routing in protocol in case we have different router networks right while in on PC IP address is important subnet mask is important but we need to give default gateway so that he that PC or end device can or is able to communicate with the router connected to it right leave a comment if anyone has any query let me know what should I do next till then thanks for watching and goodbye